This is super impressive. Thank you. I love it. And your bag's not stuffed by any means. No, I have a lot of room in there. I can actually pack all of this besides the drink bottle in this packing cube when I get dressed for the plane. Oh my gosh. Hey you beautiful people, my name is Brittany. And I'm Megan. And today we're going to be sharing about Megan's really epic, amazing 17 liter minimalist pack. But before that, I just want to ask you a few questions mm -hmm. and share a little bit more about you. Sure. So where are you from? I'm from an hour below Sydney in Australia called the Southern Highlands, which is like a little collection of towns, but I'm about to move to the city, which is really exciting. The city of S Sydney. Sydney. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how old are you? I am 19. And would you say that, well, the word minimalist, does that resonate with you? Do you feel like you identify with it? Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay. And how long do you feel like you've been a minimalist? Um... I'd say it, I've always been really, really into organizing and tidying, and it's such a huge passion of mine, um, which is kind of weird, but also really fun. And minimalism came into my life maybe two-ish years ago from watching your videos. That's so cool. Um, and it started with just kind of like packing at the time, I was in Europe and I had this huge suitcase full of everything. I bought tea bags because I thought for some reason I couldn't get tea bags <laughs> over in Europe. Yes. I bought huge shampoo bottles, conditioner bottles, um, coconut oil with me. And I was looking at all this stuff and I like stumbled across your packing videos and I was like, what? I don't need any of this. So um, the next trip that I planned, I decided to just take a backpack and see how it went. And I did it and I downsized a lot. Wow. And then that kind of like rippled through my life and went through all of my things in my home and all the things on my computer and basically everything, all the thoughts in my head. Wow. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just overtaken me. Amazing. Can you show people just for a second just how beautifully small your bag is. Sure. I I really geeked out the first time I saw. <laughs> as soon as uh, Megan arrived at the fruit house, it, we're in Thailand right now. At this, we just did this retreat, and when I saw this bag, I was just like, I need to see inside of that right now. So we're gonna do that in a couple more minutes. But I have a few more questions for you. Sure. Um. Well, I guess what. I feel most curious about in a way even though it seems unrelated to packing is like what do you love doing what are you passionate about I am passionate about one organizing um, yeah whether that be like all of the items that I have or all of the emotions that I'm feeling I love connecting with people I love dancing I love doing yoga uh, I love traveling um, I love my friends and I love my family and I'm passionate about bringing them joy just as much as I'm passionate about bringing myself joy. Amazing. Yeah. I really have felt, I felt that energy from you in my time around you and I love that and I feel curious and also maybe like I know a bit of the answer and has downsizing your life and finding more simplicity helped you enjoy more of all those things that you mentioned? Yes. Um, I think the biggest thing for me was because I have a struggle with anxiety and I noticed once I started letting go all of all of this clutter that I had um, around me and in my life and even like the people that I was surrounding myself with, um, as soon as I started to let that go I started to become more aware of what was causing my anxiety and the things that I truly loved to do. And I basically decided to go in that direction of joy rather than the direction of stress. So yeah, I love that. Thanks. Thanks for sharing all that. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, let's get into your bag. Sure. Alright, one month in 17 liters. Sure. Take everything out. Let's do it. Okay. What's the name of this bag? This is, well I called it the Full Raven because I'm Australian, um, 
but a Swedish boy told me it was actually pronounced Fjall Raven. Okay, I like that. And it's the from the Calm Can brand. Um, I have my jacket-ish type thing. My best friend calls it a mid-layer, so I guess it's a mid-layer, mm -hmm. um, which is the only warm thing that I kind of brought with me. Yep. I have my purse, and I just have my passport, my phone, my earplugs, oh sorry, my earphones, um, a pen, and money. That's it. I love that. So would this be something that you carry with you out in the world, like if you don't have your bag? Yes. Okay. Just this. Uh, I love that her Nalgene fits in here. Like this is impressive on its own, and then like your water bottle's actually inside, mm -hmm. and it's one liter, so it, I stay hydrated. And I have my metal um, straw because I don't like using plastic. Nice. I have my toiletries, and in here are whoops, a wooden cutlery set. Because I also don't like using plastic. Um, a bamboo toothbrush. A thermometer because I track my cycle. Um, my menstrual cup, which is compactable and really cool. This is. Did this container come with it? Yes. That is so cool. Uh, my shampoo, soap, laundry, everything, which is actually leaking right now. <laughs> um, nail clippers, which could be smaller, but these are really cool. Are really cool. And then I have this little tin that a friend gave me. And inside I have toothpaste, earplugs, a sharpener because I carry a pencil with me, lip balm, my retainers because I have braces, and bobby pins. And a hair tie. I love how you have compartments for everything. It's really fun. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah. And this guy. This um was keep my towel in it's from Cedar Summit, um, but I got rid of actually my toiletry bag whilst I was here and started using this instead because it was smaller. Nice. And I didn't really like my toiletry bag anymore. Um, this is a compactable backpack from Cedar Summit, um, which fits like all of my groceries and like kind of like yeah, day yeah, day. Day. And it's huge. I fit like three papayas and ten dragon fruit in this today. And then I have my main packing cube, which is a small size. I have an eye mask, um, charger for my iPad and my iPhone, um, swimmer bottoms, swimmer, bikini bottoms. No. no. <laughs> Um, two bikini tops or exercise bras or normal tops, whatever you want to wear them. Multi-purpose. I've never actually used this one, so next time I'm going to bring it. Um, socks for on the plane because it's freezing. Mm -hmm. In this is my towel from Cedar Summit. It's like one of the lightweight, big size ones. Mm -hmm. And this bag I also use for groceries. One pair of exercise shorts. Another pair of exercise shorts. One tank top. In Australia, it's a singlet. Oh, what is it? A singlet? Singlet. <laughs> um, a long pair of tights for on the plane and if I'm cold. And a long singlet if I'm cold for on the plane. Awesome. And a packing cube. And. My notebook journal. And my iPad mini, which is actually my mom's, but I wouldn't bring this usually, but I had to do something for school, so yeah, let's bring that. Amazing. And that's it. And your dress. And my dress, and the underwear that I'm wearing. Amazing. And my Birkenstock shoes. Wow. This is super impressive. Thank you. I love it. And your bag's not stuffed by any means. No. I have a lot of room in there. I can actually pack all of this besides the drink bottle in this packing cube when I get dressed for the plane. Oh my gosh. So... I have heaps of room in there. And so during this whole trip right now, so now you've been here for what, like three or four weeks almost? Yeah, three weeks. Mm -hmm. Have you wanted for anything that you didn't have? Um, a blanket for on the plane. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. But everything else I was really happy with. Yeah. 
And I know you mentioned not wearing this. Is there anything else you think you wouldn't bring next time? Um, I've actually gotten rid of a lot whilst I was here. I got rid of another tank top, another pair of shorts, um, my comb because I decided I can use my fork as a hairbrush. I <laughs> love that! Um, yeah, my toiletry bag I got rid of. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and I had another skirt dressy type thing that I gave away as well. Besides just like the weight of not having it on, can you explain like how it feels or like the perk of having another perk of having such few amount of items? I just feel like it's really easy to know where everything is and if I've lost something, which I don't usually do, but if I do, then I know exactly what it is that I've lost and um, yeah, it just makes me feel really happy to know that I can basically survive and thrive from such little items and it's kind of a challenge as well, which is really fun. Um, yeah, and it's just easier, I think. I agree. That's amazing. It's super impressive. I feel like you've inspired me to downsize, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really exciting. If you had a tip to give to other people who want to travel light and are looking at your stuff right now and are thinking, like, how the hell can I do that? What would your recommendation be? Um, I was actually talking to my friend about this the other day. And I kind of came to the conclusion that what's the worst thing that would happen if I didn't have this item? Like, what's the worst thing that would happen if I didn't have my comb to brush my hair? I can use my fork. Um, which was really fun as well to be able to do. So, yeah, I think what's the worst thing that would happen if you didn't have something? Well, do you have a place online where people could find you and see more stuff like this or just see what you're up to in the world? Yeah, um, I have an Instagram and it's just Megan from the moon. Um, no capitals or dots or dashes. Um, and then <laughs> I also have a blog, um, which is, I don't really write on much, but I want to more and more, which is just meganfromthemoon.tumblr.com with no dots or dashes. Awesome. Thank you so much for doing this. I've been wanting to do this ever since I first met you and saw your bag. Thank but you for inviting me. Yeah. Heck yeah. Thank you guys all for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.